Live from Dodd Stadium in Norwich, Connecticut, it's the finals of the Northeast Conference Baseball Tournament. Today, it's the Sacred Heart Pioneers taking on the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils. Runners lead off second and third. And the 2-1 pitch. Grounded down to third. Costello throws home the tag, and he's out! For the tournament, two of ten with four ribbies. Grant deals the 0-1. And did they call a balk? They did call a balk, and the run is going to be the runner is going to be awarded home plate. So Claybart's going to come around and score the first run. Base is full. One down. The 1-1 pitch, laced into set left field. That's a base hit. One run will score, and they will hold Coleman at third. We are tied at one as Bowens rips an RBI single. The one strike pitch. Grounded to third, off the hop. The force at second, over to first, safe, and the runner scores. Coleman crosses the plate, and the Blue Devils have a two to one lead. Dwayne getting an RBI. Carlin who reached on the error by Tebow. Leading off of third. The delivery goes right back up the middle and the Blue Devils have a three to one lead. Garland scores on the RBI single by Coleman. The 0-1 pitch is hit through into left field. DeFilippo coming around. This is gonna be close, play at the plate. And he got him. DeFilippo called out on the play at the plate, and he cannot believe it. Coach Diaquito remains in the Pioneers' dugout. Perhaps he saw it as the umpire did because there is no argument from him. The catcher, number five. We'll get a look at it again. Fire. You see Dwayne in left field, fires it in on one hop to Garland, and he makes the tag. One more time. And he's out. That was a good call. Home plate umpire Jim Clayton right on top of it. And so Sacred Heart for the moment stays off the scoreboard. Strong throw in on one hop by Dwayne in left. Dwayne's gonna get another chance to play it here. Capazello coming around. This time the play at the plate is not in time. It gets away from the catcher to the backstop and the runners advance 90 feet. Again, the outfield is playing deep. They do not want any doubles to get past him to where Sacred Heart can clear all the bases. The 0-2 is hit on the ground. This is to short. Lundell over to second for one, and that's all they'll get. The tying run comes in and scores. Ted Shaw makes it all even, 3-3. It is indeed all hands on deck for Sacred Heart more than Central. This is hit into center field. It's a base hit. Here comes Bowens. Play at the plate, not in time. Throw to second. That is in time. The out at second base will end the inning, but not before Bowens comes around and scores the go-ahead run. They Costello, may need him. Costello, the left-handed bat is up next, so you wonder if they would go lefty-lefty if Costello comes up. This is lined past Brown and into right field. Lockery will come in and score, and it's 5-2 to two, Central Connecticut State. P.J. Filippo, who has come through so many times before. The runners lead. The pitch, grounded to third, could be two. Over to second, back to first, double play. Brown advances to third, but the Blue Devils turn two. The entire central bench leaning over the railing in front of their own dugout. The one, two, swung on and missed strike three. They'll have to throw it down to first, and it's over. That's in the ball game with the 
Central Connecticut has won its fifth Northeast Conference Tournament Championship. They're going to the NCAAs. Standing by is Craig D'Amico. He is downstairs with our Bear Player of the Game. And who else could it be but T.T. Bowens, three for four, two runs, an RBI and a double, as well as winning head coach Charlie Hickey. It's time to chat with the champs, the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils, your 2017 NEC Baseball Champions. Tyler, let me start with you. This is a team that all season long really didn't have any long losing streaks, kind of been balanced all season long. What's been the most special thing about this team? Um, really the freshmen who stepped up, uh, TT. Um, I mean, everyone started to play a part. Beginning of the season. We'll, we'll send the dry cleaning bill to New Britain, Connecticut. Um, I mean, the beginning of the season, we were all playing good, but uh, towards the middle of the season, we all stepped up, played together, and everyone was hitting, playing defense, and we just brought it together. Now, at what point during this weekend was it maybe in that Wagner game, the 10-4 the, the comeback after being down 4 nothing in that first inning against Sacred Heart? At what point this weekend did you guys realize that you could put this together? Um, after the first game, we came in pretty confident. Um, but Wagner showed us that we didn't have it yet. Um, and we came back and beat them. And then we were pretty confident in coming in and scoring a lot of runs and then coming in today and doing what we had to do. How excited are you to be able to go now, take your talents to the next level, go play at the NCAA tournament? It's pretty cool. It's cool. It's awesome. Um, I'm pumped to do that. We'll let you go celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's bring in TT or TNT as we've nicknamed him here this weekend. We saw the, the power show yesterday on your birthday. Great way to celebrate, I'm sure. But you had a big hit today bring in a run early on. How important was that run to get on the board in the early going of the game? I, I mainly think it was important because they scored a run in the first two. So if we come out and put a zero up, that's momentum's going to them. And us evening the score early and then eventually taking the lead was huge momentum for us. And we, we should have honestly we we should have put together more like better offensive ABs and everything. But what happened happened and we ended up with the momentum and came out on top. Now, I'm wondering, because you, you got that first win yesterday early on, and, and you knew your day was done yesterday and you were going to play in this game. So what was it like having to wait out those other two games to see who your opponent was going to be today before you finally got ready for the championship? I, I, it didn't matter who we played. We, we were going to come out, give 100% effort, fight no matter what. So we, we just saw who we were going to play. It didn't matter who we played, whether it was any of the other three teams. We would have came out with the same effort, same intensity, and fought and try to take it all, which we did. And you look at this team, and today's you know box score is going to look and be a good example of it. So much balance, one through nine in your lineup, everybody contributing. How key has that been for your team to get to this point? It's huge. Like I said yesterday, the past about month and a half, two months, we came together, we came together extremely offensively and started to click, score runs, averaging probably around 10 hits, more than 10 hits a game, and just we, we, our, our offense has been just great, great lately. That's that's the biggest thing. So, well, keep it going. There's guys waiting in the NCAA regionals. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, let's turn and talk to Coach Hickey. A little bit wet, but Coach, yeah. you're a champion once again, first time since 2010. A special team this year. How did it happen? You know, it's a good question because we we grew up um, the last couple of years playing with some younger kids, and now that they were upperclassmen. You know, we felt like we can compete with teams like Sacred Heart and Bryant that have dominated the conference over the last five years. Um, and the kids worked hard. And they, the thing that came about today that I think is indicative of, of our season is, is a kid like Tommy Curtin was terrific. You know, and at some point throughout the year, those guys in the bullpen came through for us. Um, and we piecemealed it a lot like we did today and all of a sudden he just came through and pitched some gutty gutty innings and then jared was able to get a big strike out and and the ball got hit at us and we made the plays um so all in all that it's it's a little bit from everybody this sacred heart team we've seen in this tournament so resilient coming back from the dead down to their last out on a couple of occasions how difficult was it to finally put them down here today well you guys just saw it. it. It was hard. I mean, Nick obviously does an outstanding job. He's a he's a great coach. He's a great man, um, and his kids play awfully hard for him. Um, you know, you saw some performances from their starting pitchers after last night, and then coming back tonight, 
I tip my hat to them. And we had to, we had to be extra special today, and we were just good enough to win today. Now, how about your thoughts on the next step, taking this team to the NCAA tournament? Well, I mean, I've been fortunate to be have, have been to a couple. Um, I don't think anybody on this team has ever been to one. Um, it's it's a terrific experience. It's it's a great week. Um, we'll find out tomorrow. Usually, you know, teams from the Northeast are sent to, to someplace else. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a regional in the Northeast, but, you know, we've been able to go to some special places in college baseball, and, and those memories I know I have, I'm excited for these guys to experience them over the next week. Northeast Conference Baseball has done a great job representing the NEC and the NCAAs over the last couple of years, and we know that your team is going to do a great job this year as well. Coach, congratulations. you got a trophy to get. We'll let you get to it, but best of luck. Thank you. The Central Connecticut State Blue Devils, for the fifth time, are going to the NCAA tournament. Paul, back to you.